Let's see if this works. Here's a little uh, notepad, Harry Potter notepad, some playing cards. quotes and pockets. Here's some different playing cards. These are Harry Potter Trivial Pursuit cards. And this is an, an a yet a different Harry Potter game card. Some postcards. Some more magazine pages. You'll find coloring pages. Here's a nice die cut that's all embossed. It's Hogwarts Castle. More cards here. This has three signatures. This is the third one. You'll see lots of fibers and um, trim on these pages. This one has an acetate layover. Here we have a cauldron. A spark of cauldron. <laughs> More talk spots and journaling cards. And writing paper. And there's the end where I signed it. Okay, that's the first mini journal I call these. These are five by seven. They're a little smaller than the ones I usually make. And I have one more five by seven, and it has this fabric, the Hufflepuff fabric. Here you can see the tassel and uh, the charms on the side. This is very similar, but it has 130 pages. No two of these are alike. I, might use some of the same papers, but in a different way. Here we have a pocket made out of a page from the book. The first book, I believe. This is Harry Potter money. More tags and tuck spots. And writing paper. And of course you can write on the back of the tags. You can write on the empty pages on the postcards, anywhere you want to add some journaling. Here are some Harry Potter bookmarks. They're not really Harry Potter bookmarks, they're magician bookmarks. This is a candy box from Hogwarts uh, Chocolate Bar, and it has some, a little surprise inside of it. There's an all post telegram. Some of these pages I did download from Etsy and some I purchased. So we'll flip up there. And here we have the third signature with a ticket for the Hogwarts Express. Some more papers inside there. And you can see the lots of different trims and things on the edges. It just adds a little special touch. There's a little pop-up plant. It's a, what is that called? A mandrake, I believe. And then more pages. And there's, there's the end. So those are the two mini Harry Potter journals. I have one regular size one. I do have more than one, but this is the only one I have ready to film and this is oh look at this this is the six by nine size and you can see lots oh look at this glorious trim here and here we have an inkwell and a train we have a hat um, a book of spells some round glasses oh just all kinds of wonderful charms there and this is the cover. I want you to know I always do go through and brush these up and go through and see if anything needs to be re-glued or re-tucked or redone. So before I send it to you, I do give it a little examination. This one has 200 pages. 
see? For example, this one, this needs to be re-glued. And I will take care of that. I have some of the Hogwarts sheet music in here. Some more tags, lots of tags. Magazine pages, pretty trim. Writing pages, story pages. This is kind of cool, true story. And this is a whole package of things. This is what Harry Potter received in the mail. The coloring pages. Glittery cauldrons. Some trivia cards. Writing papers. Quotes again. More postcards. I was able to find quite a few Harry Potter papers already made or to download. And then I mixed them in with some pages that I had in my stash. So I think it all worked out together. I had lots of these envelopes and I added some sealing wax. Some more game cards. Little bags with some surprises inside. I try to utilize lots of different things. For example, this was a party invitation and I covered up the party invitation information and made it into a pocket. A lot more cards there. You can see all the different trims and things I used. Oh, such a horrible photographer. There's a little pocket, a little clear pocket here. <laughs> this picture, this is from the sweet shop. What did they call that? I can't remember. Yeah, the Weasley Brothers place. So that is my selection of Harry Potter journals. And I'll be back with some more. I'm Dick and Jane. See you soon.